Hi, I'm Thomas Vu and I will be showing you how to create a sportcast. In the galaxy, click the share button. This takes you to the Sportpedia where you can find the sportcast. Sportcasts are a collection of creations. The organization of the sportcast is up to you, but the idea is to bring meaning to a group of creations. You can make a sportcast filled entirely with your own creations, or you can make one to bring other people's creations with a common theme together. You can make a sportcast in the game or on the web. Either way, the sportcast you create will show up in both places. I'll make one in the game first. You can see the sportcast section here. If you subscribe to a sportcast, the content from a sportcast will be downloaded into your game and assets from the sportcast given priority when filling up your world. If you want a higher degree of control over your game content, you should create your sporecast with archetypes in mind. The game's NPCs or non-player characters are drawn from your creations and the sporecast you're subscribed to. However, if the game needs a particular archetype, such as the epic archetype, and there are none of these available in the sporecast you subscribe to, it may choose a Maxis Mate creature or another creature that's been pollinated into your game. If you create sporecasts with a diversity of archetype creations, you have a better chance of running into the creatures in your sporecast in the game. Check out our tutorial site for more info on how to control the archetype of your creation. Click Make a Sporecast to make a new one. Enter the name and description of your sporecast. I'm going to use Medieval. In my description, I'm going to call it Amazing Creations from the Middle Ages. You can add anything you like just by clicking Add to Sporecast. The creations in the sporecast will show up at the bottom. You can remove a creation by clicking on it and clicking the minus button. If you want to add specific types of creations, you can use the search word found up here. You can also filter by clicking on the type box. When you're satisfied, click on the check mark button to create the sporecast. You'll now see your new sporecast in the left column. Clicking on it will allow you to view the creations you've added. You can delete the sporecast by clicking on the red trash icon. If you want to add or remove creations later, click on the Edit button. This returns us to the Sporecast screen where you can update the description and add or remove creations. Now let me show you the website Sporecast system. I'll open my browser and you can see that I'm already at Spore.com. The medieval Sporecast I created shows up here. If I click on it, I'll see the Sporecast and can add tags, update the description, and remove creations. To add more creations, just close the sporecast, switch to creations, and search for more things to add. In this case, I'll be adding more dragons. When you find one you like, you can click on it and drag it over to the sporecast name on the left. When the name highlights, release your mouse button. Clicking again on the sporecast will show you the newest addition has been included. Other people will be able to find your sporecast by searching for the words that are in it or searching for your username. For example, if I search Maxis Will, I can see the one sporecast that he made. If I search Earthly Animals, I can see that there are several related sporecasts. The number in the upper right corner indicates how many creations are in each sporecast. To see more details, just click on the sporecast. You'll see the overall rating and contents. You can report the sporecast if it contains offensive material or rate it up and down if you like or dislike it. If there are many creations, you can page through to see even more. To subscribe, click the subscribe button. All subscriptions show up on the left column too. Sporecasts you've made have a blue icon while other people's have a gray icon. We can't wait to see the imaginative sporecast you come up with.